or only one, as it could be the one. Like the one degree of elevation that enhances your performance. Or the 0.001 COR that creates the impact in your game. 0.1 millimeter of thickness to produce the furthest distance. Or the adjustment of one millimeter to create a second skin feeling. The one gram that took hundreds of tests and our most tenacious minds. So if it seems crazy to care so much about one, well, then we're the crazy ones. Crazy love, reach beyond. Mizuno. One second, one degree, one fraction. One, a number that seems so small, even insignificant to some. But for us, it's the crazy pursuit of one that drives us on. And for you, it can be the difference between one won or one lost. So it's never only one, as it could be the one. Like the one degree of elevation that enhances your performance. Or the 0.001 COR that creates the impact in your game. 0.1 millimeter of thickness to produce the furthest distance. Or the adjustment of one millimeter to create a second skin feeling. The one gram that took hundreds of tests and our most tenacious minds. So if it seems crazy to care so much about one, well, then we're the crazy ones. Crazy love, reach beyond. Mizuno.
Good evening <laughs> and welcome to Sugden Road for Surbiton versus Wimbledon. Big game, rivalry. Both teams qualified already for the finals, but all to play for here. Pride and the local rivalry between the, the two men's teams here. Uh, I'm joined with Darcy Bourne and no one else for the commentary. <laughs> welcome again, Darcy. Thank you. Big day for, for us too. Yeah, two games back to back. Well, not back to back, but here we go. Slight split allegiances here for myself as I, I don't. Should I actually? <gasps> I forgot like, about that. Yeah, should I even like admit to this? But no, I don't. currently, I <laughs> may or may not play for Wimbledon, <laughs> but um, but it's hard to play for Ooh, it's blood um, for <laughs> So, Strew and Walker with the ball at the center circle ready to push back but we'll run through the teams in just a moment uh Ore is just still sorting the pcd out but so wimbledon's lineup is number three jack waller number five jack turner number six ian sloan number seven duncan scott number nine reese bradshaw 10 rory patterson 13 eddie way 15, Sam Hooper, 17, Ben Fox, 18, Ewan Gilmore, 19, Ben Francis, 21, Johnny Lankfer, 23, David Condon, 26, Connor Greentree from New Zealand, uh, 30, Ore Ogunlana, 32, Callum McKenzie from Scotland. And we're off. <coughs> we'll provide the service and team in just a moment. Tim Nurse with the ball. Back to the legendary Johnny Gould. So, our, our men's debut, it, it has to be said. For me? Myself as well. I've not, uh, oh, really? yeah, I've not done the men's team yet. But, um, and for we'll Ollie go. Stone, it's his debut today, number 23. Indeed. And Serbiton with the early foray into the Wimbledon 25. We'll get, like I said, we'll get to the Serbiton team in just a moment. But Connor Williamson with the ball back to Luke Taylor, and now Adam Buckle and to Gary Furlong, the left half. I've been asked to give Gary a shout out. Oh yeah, by uh, by Maggie, the lovely Meg. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she said she might actually come down and join us for a couple of minutes. Yeah, a lot of people have said that they want to come and do the commentary, but I Popular insisted. Sport. Yeah, I insisted that it was just myself and Darcy because. You listeners know that you don't want anybody else. <laughs> Shout out to Barney Christopher, though, to be fair. He, him, he and a few others have done the men's games recently, and I know they've done a fabulous job, but um, the dream team's here for you, so don't worry about it. Serbiton providing the pressure early on. Oh, good ball into the D, but cut out by Sam Hooper well there. We said it in the last game. If any of our listeners... Want a shout out or have any questions or comments? We have the live stream um, comment section up in front of us, so indeed, please get involved. Yeah, definitely get involved. Great work by Ben Fox down the sideline. Devastatingly played squash with him the other day, and I feel as though I'm getting into squash, and he really? he beat me. Yeah, just the youth, I suppose. <laughs> he's agile, but well done from Wimbledon there. Maz with a great save, calmly clearing his lines. But Foxy yeah, is is a menace down the right hand side. Turner with the sp spread to Ian Sloan. So where are where are these two teams in the league? That's a good question. Both have qualified already for the finals. Uh, I believe Wimbledon potentially are they top of the group? Well, they're Good in the enough. same group, aren't they? Oh no, separate groups. No, they can't be in separate <laughs> groups. Any I have above. no idea. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I believe uh, in the, the like the regular league, Surbiton finished second, Wimbledon were third. So um, a big game. Uh, it's always a big game between these two. Mm. Uh, local derby. Um, yeah. It's never a friendly, really. So no. even though this, a bit feisty, doesn't yeah, it? definitely. Even though might not be anything particularly on lovely ball down the line to Struan. Yeah, incredible. Touch into the foot. That was inside. Ooh, just, I would say. Ooh, it's given outside. Stu Rushmore with the ball. Ooh. And the ball offside. Bit of a drag flick across the D there. Yeah. So, quickly, 
Quickly uh, through the Surbiton men's team now. Number one, James Mazzarello. Three, Luke Taylor. Four, Rob Farrington. Seven, Johnny Gall. Eight, Tim Nurse, the captain. Uh, Ten, Nick Park. Eleven, Sam Corney. Thirteen, Struan Walker. Fourteen, Louis Gittens. Seventeen, Stu Rushmere. Twenty-one, Adam Buckle. Oh, that's a pint, sorry. Uh, <laughs> Twenty-seven, Connor Williamson. Twenty-eight, Gaz Furlong. Twenty-nine, oh, Jack Hob Hobkirk. Ooh. Oh, and for, I was not paying attention. That could um, be exciting. Yeah, 23, Ollie Stone, debut, as we said, and 25, Ben Hansen. So, should be all caught up now with who's playing, but Connor Williamson with the ball into Johnny Gall. Parky down the right hand side. Picked up by Struan. And through to Louis Oon, oh. semi dangerous from Ori, but good save. God, that was a little bit dangerous. Yeah. Ball raised, but umpire deciding there's nothing too dodgy. Serbiton with the four first sort of attempt on goal, though. Eddie Way with the ball for the 16. Over to Slona. Back to Eddie. Stu Rushmere providing some pressure, but. Slona looking to provide a long ball cut out by Connor though. Connor's a fellow Serbton Colt. Big time, yeah. I remember playing with him or training with him when he was like 10 years old yeah. and he was in the first team. It was ludicrous. Very cool coming. His dad actually coached me at school. Yeah, I think his dad Yeah, Mike, a coach. Mike Williamson, yeah. yeah. Work. I'm not sure which school he's at now, but he's done Wales senior stuff mm, as well. Quite cool. Duncan Scott into the D, phenomenal player, has had to deal with some severe concussions in the past year or so, but it's great to see him back on the pitch. Lukey with the ball, I wonder if he's going to launch an enormous aerial. We said like Giselle throws big aerials, but Luke is... Did speak to Giselle after the game, she yes. said it was the wind. Ah, uh, <laughs> nah, she needs to back herself a bit yeah, more. Yeah, you're right. Timo Nurse That's with the through ball. ball. Oh, cut out by Eddie Way. Oh, dear. It's quite a long whistle for the first Yeah, there's not much in that. It's just a coming together, but great take by Foxy. Not sure who's Probably five. not five, no, despite the hand up appeal. Oh, good hands from Jack Turner there. Oh, no, he's been hit in the head, I think. Oh, dear, yeah. Uh, missed that. I think he just got the follow through. Yeah. Hopefully nothing too bad. Costello coming up with <laughs> the goods again. The goods being my lip balm. <laughs> <laughs> um, hopefully there's nothing too serious for Louis. Serbson have already got a concussion with um, Alex Williams sitting out. True, Hoping yeah. to be fit for next weekend. Yeah, I wondered what he was. Mm. He's behind the goal currently in a rather nice um, brown... What, how do you call it's it? Like cor corduroy, yeah. yeah, fleecy corduroy. He does have quite a cool fashion sense. Yeah, as does Louis. Yeah, nice. I told Louis he dresses like my dad. He didn't like it. Yeah, probably not the best. Was a compliment, but. <laughs> but fair. If your dad is has got good sense, then. Mm -hmm. A bully. You don't see that very often. Yeah, we did see some at the EHL actually, really? didn't we? Yeah. To be fair, Rottweiss had the ball right in a good. I think it was Rottweiss had the ball in an attacking place. And that sportingly, the other team gave it back to them, but Rottweiss appreciated the ball. Oh. The attack coming to nothing. Serbson have the ball again. Gaz Furlong and Struan Walker coming away with the ball. Struan's had a lot of the ball already this game, so only mm. a few minutes in. New player for Serbson this season, coming down from Scotland. Yeah. I think he's only 21. Oh, that's another point. <laughs> no, I I actually played against him uh, in the preseason game between us. He was he was very good. Um, I know he's done very well for for Surbiton this season. He's pr providing another flicking threat for them as well. Yeah, it's unbelievable how many uh, flickers. They yeah, have. four four flickers. Obviously, Gaz and Luke, Taylor and Furlong. That is well, Furlong and Taylor, <laughs> and then Rushmere and Struan as well. Like, Connor as well. Yeah, true, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
both teams stacked with talent, to be fair. Connor Greentree, another um, fellow squash player from the last week. He's from New Zealand. Um, a really good guy. He actually got hit in the face recently at training, oh which was not nice, but amazing that he's come through. Great interception from Cal McKenzie there. Very good at that, stepping through. Ooh, oh, Johnny Gall. Johnny. Yeah, very strong. He's got a very fresh trim today. He does, yeah. <laughs> he was rocking some glasses earlier as well. Look, to be fair, look, look pretty cool. Fashion. Yeah. Oh dear, Jack Waller with a easy intercept. For cut Stu out from there. Sue. Yeah, a bit of a shove in the back, but he's ridden those two challenges and Stu. So one, one on four. He's, a fast he's here. We go into the D. Uh, oh, and Struan's coming through. Oh, that's a corner. Oh, very well played. Rory Patterson not happy with the decision, but he potentially did, very did well hit him in there. to win a corner there. I think yeah. he had about. From nowhere, hand on the stick. yeah, <laughs> nowhere, Le electrifying pace from Struan. Oh, uh, Wimbledon rather have six, seven players going back for the PTD there. <laughs> Not sure you're allowed that, that lads. No. no, it's normally like one more. Oh. The wailing for, uh, <laughs> for the desperation for that the PCD. In my, um, in my <laughs> <laughs> Question is who, so, who's going to take yeah. it? Yeah. Just saying how many um, threats we have off the top. True. And Struan's on the slip tip. We've got Gaz and Luke and Stu on the right-hand side. So, let's see. Could be anything. What are you calling? I go Luke. Keeper's left, so bottom right. Oh, very good Ooh. run from Eddie Way, but that is a sore one. Taking a minute there. Yeah. I mean, he looks deceased uh, and he's come back to life. Thank goodness. <laughs> Thank goodness, eh? <laughs> yeah. That is why we wear place. PCD. And to be honest, if there's any sort of time limit for... I know the lads, Brendan, obviously was maybe going to do some commentary in part of the Let's Stick Together crew. Big up those boys. Yoop the Mole and Phil Roper. They were discussing about the PCD timing. Mm -hmm. Like nobody wants to see anyone get injured or like have to run without the protection no, these not. days. I think, to be honest, 40 seconds is not long enough, especially if some, to use the word earlier, a defender has gone marauding up the pitch and they have to come back. No, I agree. It's just not like, long enough. It's it's not necessary. People regularly run out without enough kit on. Most yeah. Of the time. No, it's silly. Like give them at least a minute. There's nothing wrong. Or yeah, even just stop the time. It's not going to take away from the spectacle. It's penalty corners, we need them to still be such a like a prominent part of the game. Mm -hmm. So the people need to be safe as well. Definitely. It's dangerous enough as it is with all the protection anyway. So anyway, Pato with the ball over to Hoops on the left hand side. Cal McKenzie now left half. He loves the spin, but he didn't get that in the in the hook there. He's caught Timo Nurse there. It's quite an interesting way to dribble the ball with your hands and knees and feet on the floor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do think Cal tripped him up a little bit there, though. It's quite impressive, actually. Yeah. Johnny Gall again with the ball. He's so solid Central in defense. the middle, isn't he? Oh, a slightly wayward pass there, which is rare for him. I mean, he wanted to take a step back, I believe, from the first team this year and play a little bit more in the second team but he's been called up and still shown his great class so well done to him the power couple of Surbiton I suppose him yeah. and Steph Elliott could be same could be said for Scotty Evans and Sarah Evans as well obviously but I'm biased same could be said. yeah they've got the love of the club uh being Maya Evans their daughter as well to be fair so they probably win it now? 11 months yeah more it's a birthday in a couple of weeks Is it? yeah Oof. Trying to work out which present to get for her as well. I reckon a good dance will do it. <laughs> good pick up from Connor. Little shove in the back. Considerable height difference between Luke and Connor there. Oh, trigger into wow. the D. Franco trying to well keep it to, alive. Um, to trap that and get it off so quickly. Yeah. At that sort of angle. Yeah. Nice play. Back with the ball at the back. 
Connor just unbelievably calm on the ball as well for a gentleman of his his age. Oh, Adam Buckle, that was a heavy touch. Oh, and a strong barge. But I do just think, like, Bucks has been in the gym, I think. He's quite he, a big I lad. I see him in cadets a lot, you know. Yeah, he's a big <laughs> lad. Connor's not as big. No disrespect to his, his height. <laughs> Slightly cagey game. Not, no, like real clear, clear cut chances yet, have they? As Buckle drives towards the 25. Oh. Long whistle there from the umpire. Yeah, not happy with Jack Waller, but I'm not really sure what Jack's done there, to be honest. Might have been a bit of a football dive, if you ask me. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised from Adam Buckle. <laughs> <laughs> Jarvis, though, the umpire, not happy. Jarvis, and there goal. it is. Interestingly, the umpire oh, no. acting like nothing happened. Long corner. Apparently last touch off of the Wimbledon stick. Apologies for that. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering why no one was cheering. <laughs> Ori on Ogilana in goal. More than calm. They knew that it was going off his own team. Quite a big game for him though. As he was GK Union. Yeah. Been a Serbs in goalie for a while until this season. Yep. Oh, that's great play from Johnny Gould there. Nick Park cutting inside, oh, yeah. going back round to Connor. The link-up plays from Surbiton is sensational, if I must say. It was the same with Gooders and Arge back in the day. Yeah. So many GB players in this squad as well. Yeah. Both teams, to be fair. It must numerous. be about 12 on the pitch. Yeah. Ten Jack well. Turner, Jack Waller, Duncan Scott, Ian Sloan, Ben Fox, all for a day, obviously David Condon, Eddie Way. It's a lot of names. Yeah, <laughs> for I mean in and around the squad. Yeah. For for Wimbledon alone, and then you've got Reese Bradshaw, uh, Ben Francis for uh, Wales, Callum McKenzie for Scotland. Yeah, it's a big like, lineup. Yeah, stacked. Rory Patterson for Ireland as well. Not um, to mention then the the Serbian team, obviously. Yeah. Tim Nurse looking to come back round. Good transfer from Johnny over to Connor. Luke Turner with the ball into the D. Oh. Onto JJ Langford's foot, new recruit for Wimbledon today, uh, this season from Oxted. Very common that he will run to the park run, run the park run, run home, and then play <gasps> the match. That's crazy. Phenomenal athlete. Wow. Yeah. He's, I think sure he's that, I think he, I think he's running the London Marathon this year. So like he's using it as training, I believe. Yeah. Uh, that's not that often, to be fair. Don't wow. get me wrong. But, yeah, just does not stop running. That's quite impressive, actually. Yeah. So, just over two minutes, counting down actually two, two minutes. Surbiton with a penalty corner here. Score nil-nil, but let's see what happens. Gaz this time, I reckon. Oh, good save from Ori. That's two from two that I've called right. Yeah. And I didn't even play for Surbiton anymore. <laughs> it looked like quite a dramatic save, but I feel like it was flicked quite near to Ori in the middle of the goal. Ori loves a dive. He he likes a bit of flair. Yeah. A bit of attention. For the cameras. <laughs> yeah, big time. He loves the cameras. He looks great while he's doing it, to be fair. <laughs> so why not? Just under two minutes left in this first quarter, and Ooh. it's still nil-nil. Getting a bit feisty on this side. Struan is a and Walker. feisty man. Foxy not happy with also that. Also a bit fiery and sassy. Yeah, very. Hooper coming away with the ball. He has one of the biggest aerials, I think, in the league as really? well. Yeah, and he flicks the ball like a train. Very similar to Luke, Luke Taylor. Foxy coming out on that one against Parkey. I think it hit Parkey's foot three times. <laughs> <laughs> 
Connor providing assist down the right-hand side. Foxy cutting in. Nice layoff. Ooh, trigger with the ball in, but that is the end of quarter one. One second, one degree, one fraction. One, a number that seems so small, even insignificant to some. But for us, it's the crazy pursuit of one that drives us on. And for you, it can be the difference between one won or one lost. So it's never only one, as it could be the one. Like the one degree of elevation that enhances your performance. Or the 0.001 COR that creates the impact in your game. 0.1 millimeter of thickness to produce the furthest distance. Or the adjustment of one millimeter to create a second skin feeling. The one gram that took hundreds of tests and our most tenacious minds. So if it seems crazy to care so much about one, well, then we're the crazy ones. Crazy love, reach beyond. Mizuno. Yeah. Q2 is underway. Sebson getting us off and running. Buckle out to Ben Park. I think no. Sebson have had most of the possession. No, this is... Sam Corney, number 11. Sam Corney, yes. There we go. Yes, I saw him in the... There we go. Under pressure from Cal McKenzie. Yeah, yeah, great hands. He's gained a few yards there as well. Good work. Looks like a bit of a younger player. Yeah, definitely. I think he's was supposedly in the twos for most of the season, but um, obviously being called up to the ones with multiple injuries and in the first team squad. Um, be yeah, and done well. To see who's, um, Who's back and fit for the finals weekend? There's yeah. a lot of people who are right at the end of their rehabs. Yeah. That's a good point. And then a few people actually that are out for a long time, aren't they? As well. Yes, that's also true. Yeah. I would have loved to have uh, commentated on Dave Goodfield. <laughs> it's just a man of lovely hands. <laughs> It's just a pleasure to watch, but yeah, he's got a quite a serious injury, hasn't he? And oh, great take from he's oh. been in now uh, rehab for a while. Yeah, Franco there, Ben Francis with the trap, but alleged to be the back stick. Tim Nurse driving down the left hand side now. Louis Gittens providing support. Ian Sloan providing the pressure. Ball. Oh. No Ooh. touches in the D though. Very calm from Ore though. In other games, people would call it. Yeah, Liam Ansel, Amsterdam the other weeks ago. Come Do you see that? Dude. Yeah. <laughs> Very Joking. strong. Obviously Hannah touched it. Yeah, it was of a great, course she did. Great yeah. goal. Great game. Oh, obviously, Ansel touched it as well. Former Wimbledon lad and good friends of the Serbi boys as well. Oh. Nice hands from Tim Nurse there. Yeah. They have given the uh, stick block there against Timo Nurse.
Cal McKenzie as well, just in front of us here, dealing with a rather nasty ankle injury. Made of tough stuff, though. Nick Park here. Ooh. Ooh. Hampstead tactics. <laughs> Hampstead women's, that is. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, I keep forgetting that people might not have watched the women's game. <laughs> Lot of hockey for one day. <laughs> yeah, true. It's rather cagey. The, the game needs a bit of a goal, doesn't it, I think, to open things yeah. up a little bit. I think we're missing a little bit of excitement at the moment. Yeah. Compared to how it normally is in this home derby. Yeah, well won back by Jack Waller there. Little one-line aerials made it through, though. Yeah, Connor Greentree resetting. Ian Sloan. A good run by Sloan there, but... Easily trapped by Nick Park. Yeah, on the not sure what side. he saw there. I think the connection between him and Jack Waller was definitely missed. It's a nice little small unit play hockey here from Serbson, and Tim's yeah. using his speed to get up oh, the pitch. Very quick from Timo Nurse. Sam Hooper with <laughs> the diving long barrier almost <laughs> with his stick. Ooh, good inception from Sam Corney there, yeah. Not phased by these uh, numerous internationals that we were just mentioning earlier. Good crowd out again today. Yeah, very good crowd. We've had a triple header today at Serbson. Ladies ones, ladies twos, men's ones. And the vintage. And the vintage. <laughs> <laughs> Did they win? I, it's a very good question. I have no idea. Well. Probably should have found that out, to be honest. Mm. Big up the vintage. Win or lose, though. <laughs> James Mazzarello looking rather <laughs> bored, it must be said, <laughs> in goal at the moment. I, I said it was a cagey game, but Ori's made a couple of saves. Or yeah, you're right. As in, the ball's gone into his goal, obviously, uh, illegally. Uh, but Maz has <laughs> not had much to do. Serbiton into the D. Ooh. Good Ooh. save, but and tipped in, just <laughs> as I was saying. That was Ori having quite something, actually. Wow, yeah. The scoop from Stu... Bobbling off Ori's chest and then... He came in from the baseline. Yeah, unbelievable yeah. run. Lovely skills. He looked very happy with himself, and rightly so. And that's a goal for number 17, Stuart Rushman. I don't know if you can hear on the live stream, but um, the X Factor chap has just called out the name. Yeah, X Factor chap. Stuart Rushmere <laughs> with the goal. <laughs> Had to force a fake laugh there. <laughs> Not as good as the Andy Murray impression. Oh, thank you, Darcy. <laughs> <laughs> kind of sound like Struan. Yeah, well, they're both from Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> Not that all Scottish people sound the same, obviously. No. Huge chuck from Luke Taylor. Wow. Great step from Foxy, but... Oh, and given to him. Yeah, fair play. Shaky. Yeah. Shaky Not sure Stevens. about your allegiance here. Oh, but I'm Not that commentators can be biased I, anyway. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm less biased this time. But yeah, maybe that's not a good thing. No, maybe I, I should be more is. biased towards Serbiton. Or it's like road for a reason. <laughs> yeah, it is the Serbiton stream. <laughs> down the line oh, and Jack Hobkirk yeah number 29 on the pitch providing some danger down the right hand side Jack Waller absolutely incessant about that decision he was rather fiery at training on Thursday as well it was really good to see definitely are a few fiery characters on both sides um, both teams here today I think the occasion 
like leads itself to that, to be fair. It's good to see. Yeah. Duncan Scott with some lovely close skill. It's not wearing the scrum cup anymore. No. That's a good point. He's had to deal with numerous um, concussions. But genuinely, like, a phenomenal player. Like, yeah. And also just possibly one of the nicest men in the whole Lovely world. Yeah. yeah. Uh, like considering the the number of concussions he's had, his bravery to get in for like all tip ins as well, even in training, really? is is ludicrous. Yeah, he's so calm, collected, and incredible hands as well at the back post. Oh. Gaz not looking for Faz down the left hand side here. <laughs> Do you think people know nicknames? Uh, probably not. So that's Gary Furlong, <laughs> Gareth Furlong, and Rob Farrington. <laughs> to be fair, they probably do. We've got about 17 people on the stream, haven't we? <laughs> well, actually, Connor's, uh, Connor said he was going to send a link to his parents back in New Zealand. So hi, Connor Greentree's parents, if you're watching. That's commitment. Yeah. A little bit confused Eddie, about what's going on here. Yeah, Eddie Way has just gone off. Don't know if he got carded or if he's. He's not rushing to the car bench, that's for sure. They've, yeah, they've got 11 on the. Maybe he's on injured. the pitch. Although he doesn't look. Yeah, very confusing, but. Uh, Duncan Scott's played it out to Sam Hooper down the left-hand side, driving forwards, thwarted by Connor Williamson. Great play, and now Timo Nurse with the free hit. Not seen by the umpire. He's won the ball back again. Tim, Tim's been all over it today, actually. Yeah. Similar to uh, Izzy and Dr. Payne earlier <laughs> in the first, the, in the women's game. Yeah, great performances. Yeah. I'd like a bit more excitement in this game, to be honest. Yeah, it's, it's a bit dry. A bit tame. Yeah. Feisty, but tame. Mm. As in, like, they've been... I guess neither of the teams have anything to win No, for exactly. Pride. Yeah. But oh I'm dear. sure come the second half, it will get feisty. Card coming now for Connor or Louis. Louis, I think. Louis, yeah. He looks annoyed. Dumbfounded by that, yeah. Um... Yeah, we might have to provide some better chat than the, the <laughs> match is providing. So we, we've we discussed um, barefoot shoes. Oh, God, I knew you were going to say <laughs> that. We've discussed <laughs> Andy Murray. Um, For those of you who don't know, what's one left? of Mark's secret talents is that he um, he does Andy Murray impressions. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's a few impressions, to be fair, I yeah. have in my repertoire. My um, My geography students were flabbergasted at the David Attenborough impression as well when we were watching That's quite cool, Planet Earth. Fair. Yeah. Yeah. I mean who doesn't love the environment? Oh, Johnny Langford with the ball on his foot there, missed trap, unfortunately. Probably thinking about the London Marathon um, probably needs to focus he's on this game. Too tired from his fart run. Yeah, he's just running so much. We let's call him Forrest. Before there's more goals, what is your school prediction? That's a, yeah, good good probably like Good chat, hockey related, yeah. rather than David Attenborough. <laughs> um, I think it's going to be a close. Oh, I said it was going to be close between the women and Hampstead, but it wasn't really, was it? No, it wasn't actually. No, first so half was really close, and then served them all over. Yeah, the way this game is going, it should probably be a bit closer. But oh, good save by Maz. Shot by Connor. Good save by Maz. Cleared his lines well. Yeah. The rotation, the body rotation of Mazzarello <laughs> was sensational. I hope you keep us listening. <laughs> if there's any keepers on Ooh, the line. Oh, that dear. is not nice. Hey, we're all friends with the Commonwealth here. Um, <laughs> no comment. <laughs> back to my Simon Mason impression. Tim Nurse. Oh, oh that's a heavy touch, very unfortunately. Heavy. Good play from Adam Buckle, though, getting it up to Tim Nurse. Yeah. Um... Back to the score pr prediction, I reckon 
1-0 currently. Six minutes to go left of the first half. I actually don't see that many goals in this game. Do you not? No. Not the way the game's gone so far, unless the floodgates open. So, 3-1 Surbiton. I was going to say 2-0. Yeah, were you? Mm. Oh, great minds like thinking like again. Yeah. Okay, I'll go... I'll go 2-1. All right. You go 3-1. To Surbiton? Yeah. Great. Obviously, we're at Surbiton Red. Good. Sorry, Wimbledon. Surbiton are back up to 11 players. Louis finished his um, finished his card, and I've just been informed by Amy Tennant that the keepers are listening. Very good. She didn't say Very whether your, your commentary was good or not, though. But, what, I'm, <laughs> I'm all over the, the GK Union. She says if a goalie's rotating, they're doing something wrong. No, incorrect. <laughs> Amy. Well, it was more of a mick take of um, um, mm. Simon Mason. However, back in the day, again, showing my age, you had to rotate. You weren't allowed to just move your hand. You had to move your whole upper body what? in a save to clear it to the side. Yeah, those Why? are the rules. You weren't allowed to like move your hand across your body. You had to move your body. As with in the it was save. a foul if you didn't. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, ludicrous. Finally, goalkeepers getting the the respect they deserve in terms of the rules, but didn't know that. Yeah. A lot of rule changes in hockey. Again, like I said, I'm I'm quite old. Good play by David Connor. Oh, very important almost touch. Oh. Did he touch it? I'm not sure. Actually, I think it's been given as a 16. Yeah, Gaz Furlong just putting Franco Ben Francis off a little bit to miss trap that lovely through ball. We've just had a comment in the live stream saying that commentary will be better if we hear David Attenborough commentating. <laughs> <laughs> well, here at Sugden Red, <laughs> Wimbledon with Rory Patterson down the right-hand side to Ben Fox, the effervescent right defender taking on Gareth Fellong, the Welsh maestro, into the D, and nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good finish. There we go. That was lovely. Yeah. Like I said, there's a few wow. things in the repertoire. Not many people get the pleasure of meeting David Attenborough. And Andy Murray in the same day. <laughs> yeah, big day. <laughs> big day. Little dink pass there for Wimbledon, getting over the Serbs in press. But keeping it up in in a bit of high transfer. Ooh, illegally. Oh, dear. Connor not looking in a good way. Gum shields out. Looked innocuous. But his reaction. He's taking Hopefully it he's like right. a jump. Yeah, made a tough stuff, to be fair, like his dad. Some of his training sessions at school, not so fun. Jack Turner providing... Oh, I'm not that sure about that. Yeah, I know, it's a, it's a it bobbly, but it's not... It not yeah. no. Maybe it was back stick. Uh, potentially, yeah. That would make more sense, actually. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Sense. Johnny getting up the pitch. And yeah, here we go. Great touch. Lovely ball down the line to Ben Hansen. Back to Louis. Oh, Duncan Scott with a great interception. Up to Franco. Can he find some support? He can in the form of Jack Turner. Oh. Wrong tackle from. S it's quiet out there. It's, quite, it's the quite, yeah. It's not. It's not been very vocal. Something that we do actually talk about a lot in training with Wimbledon ones about the communication. Sort of nice guys, and I think it must be a similar thing with with the Serbian no, boys as well. No, I don't think you well. normally have that issue here. It does get. Just get loud. I, I, on the games that I watch, it's usually quite loud. Let's get loud. Let's get loud. <laughs> Like we need that. <laughs> Maybe we'll get karaoke going in the second. Yeah, time. Rob Farrington with the ball Thank into you. the D. Great ball. Oh, Stu Rushmere. Oh, that's a goal. Goodness that's a goal. gracious. That went in. 
And Did a that long not go corner. In? Nah. It, Ori, it Ori in. saved it, yeah. No. GKU. Um, uh-huh. But Stu Rushmere, looking That's as though he, he was praying to the goal there, sliding in on his hands and knees. I think he was trying to do exactly what. Um, who was it earlier? Stu that scored. Yeah, yeah. Oof. Someone Less calling out 20 seconds. 20 seconds, yeah. Wanting the ball into the D. That's lovely. Touch from Faz. Clear. Ben Francis, well done there. Came Back out of nowhere. Forward, yeah. He's not known for his defending prowess. <laughs> so to provide that interception there just before half time. So half time, Surbiton 1 0. Uh, Stu Rushmere driving down the baseline. And a slightly strange goal, but. One second, one degree, one fraction. One, a number that seems so small, even insignificant to some. But for us, it's the crazy pursuit of one that drives us on. And for you, it can be the difference between one won or one lost. So it's never only one, as it could be the one. Like the one degree of elevation that enhances your performance. Or the 0.001 COR that creates the impact in your game. 0.1 millimeter of thickness to produce the furthest distance. Or the adjustment of one millimeter to create a second skin feeling. The one gram that took hundreds of tests and our most tenacious minds. So if it seems crazy to care so much about one, well, then we're the crazy ones. Crazy love, reach beyond. Mizuno.
Just do it, one. Shot anything. Don't worry. Welcome back to Sugden Road. The start of the second half is about to get underway. Uh, Surbiton 1, Wimbledon 0. Darcy has taken a short hiatus from commentary and I'm joined by Ed Haller. Hi, Ed. Hi, how's it going? Good evening, everyone. Yeah, Ed unfortunately is joining me in the commentary box as he is. He picked up an injury a couple of weeks ago. It's devastating, but I'm sure he'll be back better and stronger in the future. Yeah it's, yeah, it's difficult to be uh, watching this game. Um, you know, love playing in this derby. But um, yeah, thought I'd give commentators a try and join you in the, the commentary box, Mark. Yeah, yeah, I believe you're doing some commentary in the, the playoffs in a few weeks. So. I think I might be giving it a go, yeah. So I thought I'd have a little practice now. Um, it's nice that we'll have someone with some dulcet tones as well for the playoffs. <laughs> so, oh, great ball from the boys here. But picked off by Gaz Furlong. Stu Rushmere, the scorer. Back to Gaz. Good work from Foxy there, but sideline ball for Surbiton. Yeah, so the, the commentary well, we, Darcy and I basically end up just talking about everything, so don't worry about it. Well, we've got an update in the other game. It's currently 2-1 uh, to Holcomb. Oh, um, spoiler alert, but that's, that's great news, isn't it? I'm just going to check the Hampstead score as well. All games should finish together, so it should be uh, should be in for a, a treat. Uh, oh. It comes sort of 7.30. Yeah, here we go. Snuck out by Connor again. Oh, that is, to be fair, that is sensational hands from the young man. Serbton come away with Louis Gittins. Jack Turner, oh, good inception there. Ewan Gilmour, another another squash gang. Lovely hands himself. Through to Foxy, another member of the squash group. Back to Ewan, backhand. Oh, but wide, 16. Yes, the, the squash gang have been playing uh, recently. Um, like, infuriatingly enough as it is. Oh, dear. Adam Buckle. Silly mistake there, but yeah, hopefully Wimbledon can counter on this one. Yeah, there was talk of two balls on the pitch, but an error there from the Serbiton boys. Don't think Wimbledon have quite found their their form yet, have they? It's um, been an interesting first half, but um, yeah, a lot of missed traps going forward. Um, so let's yeah, see, see what the second half brings. Yeah, Darcy and I were saying it was relatively cagey, but probably thought um, Serbiton were on the upper hand. I definitely think so. Yeah, couple yeah. Of corners in there as well. Great work from Franco again, trying to keep that ball alive. And he was strong to keep the ball, uh, like to snuff out the ball at the end of the first half. But Ewan with some great hands. Absolute chaos in the D there. Well but on back by Surbiton. Fox. Yeah, Surbiton with the ball out. Yeah, not too many opportunities, but Mazzarello hadn't had many saves to make at all and literally as I was saying that that was when um, Surbiton scored mm. actually um, I mean Ori hadn't had too many oh that looks sounds like a card for Stu Rushmere goal scorer Stu Rushmere first first card of the game yeah Thought there might uh, have been Louis Gittins has had the green okay. before yeah but um, Wimbledon with no card so far good discipline Eddie Way, uh, yeah, has, has gone off. I think he's got a, a bit of a knock to his hamstring. Um, and I think he's going to rest it uh, for, for the rest of the game. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, we wondered about that. It was a bit... Um, yeah, limped off. Bit, yeah, curious. Off next week, I think he's, he's, he's sort of made the sensible call and, and, and going to rest it. But let's, yeah. let's see if he, um, he comes back on. That is unbelievable work there from Rory Patterson. The big tree intercepted there and somehow managed to play the ball down the line. JJ, oh, that is... a. Again, an Amber unbelievable Buckle. interception from Adam Buckle there. Bringing the ball away. Unsure what to do now by the look of it, but he's gone past Rory again. All the way into the D. This is fabulous play from Bucks. Umpire says play on. Wow. And Wimbledon can count. There's a lot of space to go into here for Waller. 
Foxy marauding down the right-hand side, as I've used that word a few times today, but it is a great word. Oh, not found by Ewan. Unfortunately, that happened a few times in the first half. Just that, that final connection hasn't yeah. been made, the ball going off the baseline. No, definitely. And Jack Turner showing his fr frustrations there. Absolutely fuming. Quite rare from Jack to show his frustration on the pitch. <laughs> the giggle suggests the sarcasm is real. Nick Park there bringing the ball away. Oh, great ball to Struan Walker. Hoops giving him some chase, but oh, unhappy with that. Not wanting the uh, whistle to be blown, the advantage to be played. Rob Farrington on the ball. Oh, Faz. Faz loves a 3D skill. Winning the long corner there. And Stu Rushmere back on the pitch now. Serbiton back to their full complement. Ooh. Ooh, this is going to be a card. Ben not Fox. happy there, the umpire. Foxy off for a green card. I think he, I think he thinks he's got the ball there, but mm. umpire's suggesting that he, he had a hand on the back. But probably the right call there. Probably, yeah. Foxy thinks every decision against him is incorrect, let's be honest. So as, as seen in the squash squash games we've had. <laughs> Serves him back to full strength. So I've got a man up on Wimbledon here. Ball, ball into in. the circle. Oh, oh missed track from Franco. Franco. Sam Corney with the ball. Back in all. Oh, Semi-dangerous. Surely, no. A corner given. No. Jack, Reverse. Jack Turner, Jack Waller very quick over to the umpire. And I think he's managed to change his decision wow. with the help of Higgins on the other side. There we go, yeah. Not really sure how that would have been uh, Wimbledon ball at all. So uh, uh, sorry, Surbiton ball at all there. There's a lot of chaos. Dave Condon's unfortunately dribbled it off the pitch <laughs> after I thought he was about to take off. <laughs> yeah. Faster than Lightning McQueen. So Wimbledon drop into their deep half-court zone with a man down. Can Surbiton capitalise probably a minute to go? On this card? Yeah, a minute to go on this card. Yeah, just over 10 to go in the uh, quarter. But Wimbledon with the, with the possession again. <laughs> Reese Bradshaw. Delightful player. Elegant across the field. It's been quite quiet today. Oh, I've literally this first time I've said his name, yeah. And I hope now I've said that he's going to get on the ball lots and uh, have a big impact. Yeah, loves his golf. I'm surprised they've let two Wimbledon players commentate today, Mark. I, I know, yeah. I, I mean, to be honest, I was trying to make sure that Darcy stayed with me as we're the dream team. But, um, um, yeah, most of my family still play for Surbiton, so I feel like I'm pretty, pretty um, impartial. Same. Just lots of knowledge about the Wimbledon team as well. Connor Williamson over to Nick Park. Ball in. Flashed over to Sam Corney. He's kept it alive into the D. Onto the foot. Cal McKenzie loves the trap. The vertical trap. And he's won the free hit. It's a great to see Cal playing again. I know he's, he's dealing with some uh, ankle injuries. He's been absent at training for a little while, but does not show any signs of any sort of injury. And it's, yeah, phenomenal player. Exactly. Know when it counts. Last few games of the season. Comes alive. Yeah. He's looking sharp. Yeah. He's had a good game so far. I've not seen. Oh, he attempted the spin earlier, didn't he? Didn't come off, but loves the spin. And it is, it's almost impossible to play against. Because <laughs> he does it every time in training and still people don't tackle him. Ball Sona forward. Out to Hooper. Yeah. Oh, oh lovely, lovely hands skill. from Hoops. That's unbelievable from the defender. Through to Connor Greentree. Inside the D. And, and winning the corner. Very good play from back to front there from Wimbledon. That is excellent work. Nine minutes to go in this quarter. So Wimbledon's first corner. Slow marching up with the uh, the short corner call. Yeah, you've got to call it. Uh, I, I called Surbiton's twice. Sure, I think this is going to be Sam Hooper off the near castle. I probably would have thought so, yeah.
Hoops not looking like he's on the near castle, though. Pato on the near castle. Hoops far castle. Could be, still could be Hoops. Hoops from far castle, though. Trying to exploit the postman. As Mazzarello's legs are as long as the equator. Waller's looking quite busy at the top of the circle. Is he going to be involved? No. <laughs> Hooper off second castle. Run down. I think that was stick. Oh. And a fantastic save. Oh, no. Giving us a 16. Controversial. I, was, I thought that was a save as well. Hoops clear, uh, apparently topping it past Mazzarello there. But yeah. It's been some great number one running so far. We've had Eddie Way one end. Yeah, it took a knock. Tim Nurse. In the uh, women's game as well. Fabulous number one running. Oh, Hoops inviting Cal McKenzie to get forwards. Just nonchalantly has launched that like 20 yards. Just absolutely ludicrous. So I got an update. It's 2 2 in the Holcomb Old Georgians game. Oh, that is a shame. <laughs> Pato took and McKenzie with the little drop guard pass. Dave Condon snuffed out by Sam Corney. Well done. Again, I thought he was going to take off then. Scenes a la Concord back in the 90s. By all accounts, it sounds like a very interesting game uh, at St. George's. Hopefully, we've got a few goals coming for us in the second half here. Hooper wins the ball back and wins a free hit. Taken Hooper. quickly into the D to Condon. Ooh, but wide. Mazzarello's equatorial legs covering the goal well there, though. Sorry, yeah, you missed out on the David Attenborough and the Andy Murray earlier as well. <laughs> Hence the geography chat. Wimbledon pushing a high line here, good pressure. Franco looking to pressure on Connor Williamson. Six minutes to go in this quarter. Some patient build-up play from Surbiton. Uh, Sam Corney, yeah, winning the ball well through there. Louis Gittens. Adam Buckle, oh, but no. Final connection not made in the D. How's the foot? The foot's fine. The foot is currently uh, elevated. Elevated, yeah, in a slightly like uncomfortable position. <laughs> I can stand if you want to put it on there. <laughs> Duncan Scott with the ball. We were bigging up Duncan Scott recently. Oh, that is lovely hands right in front of us here. Jack Wall restarting. Is it captain today? Jack Wall is captain. He's been captain for most of the second half of the season. <laughs> Shows how much I <laughs> watched the women and ones. Oh, ooh. Franco asking for the long corner. 16 given. An, an enormous aerial from Luke, Ta Luke Taylor. Serbiton ball on the right-hand side by, with Sam Corley. Again, patient play from Serbiton. Good hands from Timo Nurse. Driving forwards into the D. Ooh. But wide, yeah. Good effort. The outside from, of the goal. Yeah. Very close to the near post, or he's near post there, but he had it covered. GKU. <laughs> Great crowd again today at Serbiton, it must be said. Everybody behind the, the far side, far goal on the bank. Some wonderful spectator area there. Fox twisting and turning on Stuart Walker, gives it to Duncan down the line. Duncan finds you in the circle. In the Gilmore. And a goal. goal. Wow, in. what a backhand from Ewan Gilmore. Hands. Ewan Gilmore with the goal. 
Mazzarello furious with himself. It's 1-1. One, one. Three minutes to go in the third quarter. I'm going to take every ounce of preparation for, for that goal. Um, getting you and you and Tans in place through squash. He's the He's the best, worst squash player I've ever played against. It's unbelievable. The f the, but genuinely, hockey terms as well, the fastest hands probably I've ever seen. Hits the ball like a train as well. Seems like there's a little bit more energy in this Wimbledon side now. Yeah. Surbiton won, Wimbledon won. Cal McKenzie with the spin. Riding a few challenges just outside the uh, circle. Um, I've just kicked Ed Haller's foot, <laughs> his injured foot. That's why it's in a boot. <laughs> just over two minutes to go in this quarter. Pato marauding forwards. He really marauds, doesn't he? He's a big lad, but cut out by Connor Williamson, who's spinned, spun to what? Yeah, it doesn't really work. Spin to win works, but Connor's done well there to get the ball out of his 25. Two minutes to go in the third quarter. Johnny Gould with a long ball forward. Cut out by well turns. stopped by Jack Turner. <coughs> Stu's looking to take it quickly from the left sideline. Drops it to Johnny Gould. Turbison with a little, mm, not really an overload down the right, but lots of space. See if they can exploit that, but they've gone direct. Oh, touch by Faz. Lovely touch from Rob Farrington, but to no avail. 16 for Wimbledon. Enormous aerial from Rory Patterson. Wimbledon with the ball just outside the Surbiton 25. R Reese Bradshaw with the ball to Duncan Scott. Surbiton back and in good shape, defensive shape there. Big chuck from Ian Sloan, trapped by Duncan Wright on the baseline. Played through Connor with the ball, bobbling everywhere. Stu with the clearance. Good scrambling defence from Surbiton there. Mm. Calm from Johnny Gall. Luke Taylor winning the, the foul. Nice chuck to Stu Rushmi in the centre of the pitch. Attacking through. Good ball to Struan Walker with the control. Ooh. And flashed wide. Flashed wide indeed. Jack Hobkirk at the back post couldn't find the connection. And that's the whistle. So, end of Q3. We have Surbiton 1, Wimbledon 1. Join us for Q4 in just a moment. One second. One degree, one fraction. One, a number that seems so small, even insignificant to some. But for us, it's the crazy pursuit of one that drives us on. And for you, it can be the difference between one won or one lost. So it's never only one, as it could be the one. Like the one degree of elevation that enhances your performance or the 0.001 COR that creates the impact in your game. 0 0.1 millimeter of thickness to produce the furthest distance, or the adjustment of one millimeter to create a second skin feeling. The one gram that took hundreds of tests and our most tenacious minds. So if it seems crazy to care so much about one, well, and we're the crazy ones. Crazy love. Reach beyond. Mizuno.
Welcome back. It is 1-1 here with Surbiton and Wimbledon. Wimbledon scoring in that third quarter, squaring things up. Adam Buckle with another great interception there. Rob Farrington on the way forward. Connor making things difficult. It's getting a little bit scrappy. Higgins blows Surbiton ball. Mark has just gone for a bathroom break, so he will join me in a few moments. Yes. So third quarter at St. George's as well. It is 3-2 OGs versus Holcomb. We're trying to track down the Hampstead Beeston score, but have no luck so far. <laughs> Nick Park crashing into Wimbledon's circle. Waller with a possible stick tackle. Looks like advantage. Well clear by Hooper. Advantage over. However, it's back to Surbiton with Williamson. Johnny Gould now out to buckle. And Taylor, is he going to crash one in? A little foul by Turner, who's showing frustration at, at the umpire. Wimbledon just knock it around the back. Sloan trotting forward on the ball into Waller. Waller turns. Waller's found a little bit of space. Out to Hooper. Hooper inside to Waller. Lovely touch. Foot there, but play advantage. Franco with the spin. Cow with the shot. Short corner given. Looks like a back stick in there from Serpentum. Wimbledon's second corner of the game. Looks what have like I missed, Ed? You've just missed a lovely bit of skill from Waller. Wimbledon's second corner. We've now got Rory Ann Hooper on the pitch. What do you think? What's the call, co what's the call coming? It's, it's going to be hoops again. Far castle, but he's going to go head, uh, stick side. Yeah, so head side against Mazzarello. That's a good start from uh, Wimbledon in this fourth quarter. <clears throat> Gone to inject. Out to Sloan. Hooper with a flick across oh, the goal. Great like save it's, from Mazzarello. He's given a 16 again. He's given a 16. That is incredulous. Unless Condon doesn't look like. Condon looks like he's maybe got a touch and tipped it over his foot. He's not happy with the, he's not unhappy with the, the decision. Although we were just saying, I think Mazzarella would like that to go up for uh, a long corner showing that he'd made a great save. Uh, yes, but at the same time. Take the 16. Yeah, take the 16, take the possession. Connor stick in. It's a foot well, there. And it's play on a good advantage. Hooper in the middle. Drops it to Bradshaw. Oh, with the ball in. Oh, oh that's an unbelievable save. save. And again. Waller on the rebound. Frank on another Three rebound. Three triple save from so Mazzarello. And he's fired up. Gittins with the ball away quickly. Zooming down the right-hand side. That is an unbelievable triple save from Mazzarello to keep Surbiton at a draw there. Nick Park with the ball. Our Serbiton going to take advantage of this now into the D. Winning the... Oh, no, he's played advantage. I think Wimbledon are complaining for a foot at the top of the circle from Serbiton, but it's worked out 16. And two balls again on the pitch. Sloan trying to calm the Wimbledon boys down. Roy Patterson stands over the ball. Throws an aerial to Duncan. It's a little bit far. Pick from Gaz Furlong there. Serves him ball. That is nearly a 50-yard aerial with just his wrists, basically. It's enormous. 
Yeah, GKU, James, Will from the Inbetweeners, Mazzarello. Unbelievable saves there. The first one's great. The, the, the second two were sort of um, scrambled, just block saves, but he still made them. That's just fabulous work. Wimbledon would be frustrated, but so that's Mark, quality keeping. Mark, do you think there's another goal in this game? Absolutely, yeah. 12 minutes to go. Who's going to score? Who's going to score next? I think I reckon it could end 2-2 actually at this moment. I think with Darcy I said it was going to be 2-1, but there's every chance it could be 2-2. Oh, that could Ooh, be a card. Buckle Adam in the Buckle. back on yeah, Gilmore. Strong green card. Not happy there. Just a green. Wimbledon ball. I mean, if, if Wimbledon score next, then obviously Surbiton are going to come out all guns blazing to get the draw. How are we looking in the other scores as well? So, yeah, I think you missed it when you were in your bathroom break. But 3-2. Uh, <laughs> three, three oh, don't say that. 3-2 to our Jews. Oh. For goodness sake. What are the little arrows to Duncan? To Fox, Foxy. sorry. Fox retains possession back to Waller. You can see another aerial. Yep. Straight into Duncan. Mm, ah, too picked long. Picked out by Gary Furlong. Coming away. Louis gets into ahead of him. Two Wimbledon players around him. Oh, and somehow he's got through. Uh, the umpire's called the first foul for the stick tackle. That's well played by Gaz, winning the ball. Yeah, he definitely shinned it through, but there was a foul beforehand. Three players on him. He's done mm. well. Williamson knocks it back to Taylor, across the pitch. Wimbledon now high. Ewan's right up in the circle, chasing down Taylor. That's well, a fantastic that's ball. Unbelievable ball. Walker All the way the to Strew and Walker in, in the Wimbledon 25. Rory Patterson with a flat old stick, but lifted up. Into Stu Rushmere. Lovely hands. Oh, but back stick called. Interesting. Jack Wallow coming away with the ball. Into the Serbiton half now. Over to Johnny Langfer. Duncan Scott on the left side. Found. Back to hoops. Great. No, Square eel. Oh, and I first think, touch takes him off the pitch. I think Dave Condon thought he had another pitch to run on there. <laughs> But certainly is, yeah. The game opening up now. Definitely went to end with fantastic ball by Taylor there. No, I would not want to get in the way of one of uh, Luke's slaps, to be honest. No, unfortunately, Eddie was on the receiving end of one of his flicks. Great tackle yeah. on the backhand by Johnny Lankfer. Could be a foul coming. No, good Nothing tackle, called. Tim Nurse. Yeah. Wimbledon crowds uh, seem very agitated on my right, but uh, Nick Parks away. So yeah. got sort of George Waller. Adam Buckle back on the pitch, ball across. Cut out by Ian Sloan, great work there. And well cleared. George Waller and his dad actually to our, to our right, furious. Game's certainly woken up, so we're definitely going to see a few more chances. Rory Kalman as well over on this right-hand side, looking Lankford directly at me right now. Unfortunately in the middle of the pitch. Well received by Gittins in the D. Pressure from Serbiton. Oh, Lifted up off raised Wimbledon. up off Pato. The Serbiton corner. Yeah, here we go. Big moment. Less than 10 to go. Big cheers from behind the goal up on that Serbiton far end. Up on the bank. Yeah, it's unfortunate for Pato, but Stu was close enough to make it dangerous. And it's a Serbiton corner. Luke's on the pitch. It's Gaz on the pitch as well. I think so. Do you think Luke's going to go high on this one again or, or back to back to a low one? Yeah, it's a good question. We've got, they've run down Luke's low flick. Ori saved Gaz's high flick. Struan is on the near castle. Gaz loitering as well. <laughs> Stack line is, up here. Or is, is Struan on the slip? I reckon there could be a spin here. I think I recognise that Luke warm up. I think he might be flicking. I think it's Struan. And a slight bunt. No, Luke yeah, off the top. you're right. Well oh. run down, John Lankfer. It was leg. Reset, corner. I mean, great preparation for the marathon. 
There is a rear warden. Serbiton are not supposed to be re-huddling. Umpire Jarvis. Johnny Lankford is a very, a very keen runner, Johnny Lankford. Yeah, we mentioned this in commentary earlier, how we would potentially he, he took run. off. Oh, he did, really? I thought he was going to run to the park run <laughs> and back and then play. Here we go again. Luke Taylor again. Yep. Behind the back the to slip. Gaz. And fantastic save. Save Ori. And given away. Yeah, great save by Ori. High left glove by Ori. Wimbledon have taken it quickly to Duncan. Down the line to Condon. All the way to DC. Oh, well covered by fabulous Buckle. interception from Turner Butts. And Condon is, uh, Turner and Connor are screaming for it in the circle, but... David Condon doesn't have an aerial. <laughs> and, uh, I'm trying to be positive, Mark. Yeah, well, I'm just speaking oh, fast. Fantastic speed for Dave. Again, well cut out by Buckle. Yeah, fabulous player. Lovely moustache as well. Down, broken down all sorts of play today. He's played well. Yeah, he's an absolute menace in defence. Timo Nurse... Running for the ball. He's still oh, got it to shoot. Rushmere. Fox's foot. <laughs> that sounds like some sort of wedding gift. Oh, strong whistle blow. Ori has been pulled. Wimbledon pulling their goalkeeper with six minutes to go. Interesting goal, but I guess potentially the... Um, Carl Stagno, the coach, trying to play, try different things. Both teams already through, but testing out different formations. Tony Jones, don't worry. Exactly. Good preparation for the playoffs. Who's top? with a good chuck Franco under it but giving him Buckle's favour both moving into that space mm. so with the uh, format of a shuffle if it is a draw um, and that's Corner, a foot yes. Stu's foot Stu wants the uh, tackle the stick tackle there but tip onto his foot so we're just yes, trying to work out why the goalies come off. So, yeah, the, so, so with the extra point, Subton could go level and obviously, therefore, with their current goal difference of two better than Wimbledon, uh, they would finish top in top the pool. Top group, yeah. So yeah, because obviously there are no draws here. It will go to a shuffle competition. Which would certainly be exciting to watch, but I think uh, Wimbledon would be keen to wrap this up uh, yeah. from this short corner. Hooper's on the pitch again. Will they r use Rory this time, do you think, Mark? I'm going to go. I reckon... I think they went. They tried to go for the Condon tipping, didn't they, before? Mm. Surbiton run with a strong double runner, so I reckon it's going to be a, some sort of tipping as well, again. Hoops to Condon for the tipping is my call. Six minutes to go. Back on time. Here we go. So Nick Park out. Oh. And well, well run down, but it, I think it's stick to Shin. And it's yep. a rear ward. Nick Row Park. one by Park again. Brave man. Probably one of the quickest off the line of uh, number one running, Mark. Lightning McQueen. Yeah. Kachow. Spot on. I've made that joke already, so but it's for your for your benefit as well. Appreciate it, thanks. Yeah, no worries. Fabulous movie franchise. Here we go again. Oh, so great good save. save from Maz. Good flick from Hoops, but not far enough in the corner. Maz has got his leg down to that as well. It's just phenomenal goalkeeping. It didn't look like it was quite trapped dead for Hooper, but he managed to get it away and some serious speed on it as well. But yeah, yeah. fantastic save. So five minutes left in the final quarter here at Sugden Road. Oh, where? Sugden. Sugden Road. Sugden. Yeah. Sugden. <laughs> Do you not like my pronunciation? What? It's wrong, so no. Sugden, <laughs> de en. Can you can you say it again? Sugden. Okay. Not Sudge. Again, Buckle jumping in front. He's played very well. Down the I line to Johnny Gould. It's, it's all the moustache. Oh, mistrap from Johnny. Well, well. Strong from Pato. Well tidied there. up by Pato. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. There. Drops it to Turner. So Bradley. Wimbledon still without their goalie. So man up. Ori is on the sideline. Oh dear. 
and they've lost. managed to they managed to keep most of the ball. But true, yeah, well back by Cal McKenzie there, nothing given. So Wimbledon coming away with the ball, looking to offload. Nice play from JJ Lank for there. Back to hoops. It's another yeah. aerial to Fox. Oh, great Very touch well from Foxy, up. but he still kept alive. Unbelievable. Waller's on the ball. Jack Waller, oh, hands. Here we go. Great defence again from Serbia. Serbia have done very well. Yeah. I don't know if there was maybe some miscommunication between Wall, J Wall, and uh, Foxy there. How Foxy trapped that as well on the run with Waller right in front of him. That was impressive. Well, one back by Wimbledon, Hoops, and Franco against Rob Farrington. Serbiton sort of look like they're maybe playing for the draw at the moment. Like gone to a half court press, but they're not down a man. Yes, they're down a man in terms of the goalkeeper. However, yeah. With Fox, it Duncan's got. Not long to go at the end of this game, but Serbton look like they're trying to play for the. So they think they, they the must fire. think they're confident in the shootout, Mark. I think. So. I mean, with Mazzarello in goal, you'd have to be confident. And of course, Faz will he try another backhand, backhand spin? Have I seen him do that before? Oh, ah, while a list into condom, not quite a connection. Oh yeah, Faz is a silky player when it comes to shootouts. He try, tries all sorts of things. Turn from Connor Williamson up to Johnny Gall. Well intercepted by Pato. by Pato. But Stewart back, but Hooper managed to regain the possession. Trap from Connor. So we've got two minutes left in this game. It's currently 1-1, Serbs in Wimbledon. Could be less, couldn't it, I suppose? Serbton with the ball now into the Wimbledon 25. Louis Gittens with the ball. Oh, wow. Wimbledon defended very well these last six minutes with uh, no goalkeeper. Condon on the left-hand side here. One-on-one -on -one with Nick Park. He Two thought about passing to you in the circle, but he's decided to go in field. I think he's hit Ooh, he's too hit high there. And that is the end of the game. Yes, one all. So to shootouts we go for the extra bonus point. One second, one degree, one fraction. One, a number that seems so small, even insignificant to some. But for us, it's the crazy pursuit of one that drives us on. And for you, it can be the difference between one won or one lost. So it's never only one, as it could be 
V1. Like the one degree of elevation that enhances your performance. Or the 0.001 COR that creates the impact in your game. 0.1 millimeter of thickness to produce the furthest distance. Or the adjustment of one millimeter to create a second skin feeling. The one gram that took hundreds of tests and our most tenacious minds. So if it seems crazy to care so much about one, well, then we're the crazy ones. Crazy love, reach beyond. Mizuno. Welcome back to Sugden Road. Sugden Road. Thanks, Mark. <laughs> uh, we have shuffles here. Surbiton versus Wimbledon. Winner takes the top spot, so all to play for. So, Ori looks like he's in goal first. Surbiton taking the first shuffle. Um, looks like we have Connor Williamson, Struan Walker, Ben Hobkirk, Jack Hobkirk, I believe, and Stu Rushmere for Surbiton. We have Ewan Gilmore, Ben Francis, Duncan Scott, Johnny Lankford, and Jack Waller for Wimbledon. So Surbiton had a shootout last week. So they've got a little bit of practice. Wimbledon yet to have shootout this season. Plenty Stewart's of practice. First. Plenty of practice in, uh, practi practice in training. But yeah, training. we're off. Here we go. There's no two minutes of fill there. Struan's away. Oh, oh. Very calm. Straight Smooth. onto his backhand. Yeah. Very quick. Little celebration to the crowd as well. Loves it. Duncan Scott's up first for Wimbledon. Mazzarello in goal with an enormously long stick. Oriol Gunlana with his slightly longer stick as well. Little high five for the GKU. Love to see it. Off goes Dunks. Eyeing him up. Oh, wow. <laughs> Big celebration from Maz there. Creating an enormous barrier. I'm not sure I've seen Maz celebrate like that. I didn't think he was going to celebrate in between the shuffles. Yeah. Fantastic save, though. Early on as well. Just don't want it to come back and bite you. <sighs> Rob Farrington is up next for Surbiton. Ori wanting to make it. So is this going to be something new? Is this going to be one of his backhand spins? This will be some sort of mad spin. There it is. Oh, he's and he's put it, it. a long way wide. Mm. So currently 1-0 to Serviton. 1-0 after three. Ewan could make this one all Correct. after four. So we have just heard OGs have beaten Holcomb. So the winner, um, the loser of this game will play OGs in the semi-final. That is frustrating. Ewan Gilmore, fastest hands in the southwest, taking on Maz. Fake shot, spin. Double spin, but unbelievable take. And a free hit, yeah. Ball gone into Ewan's legs there, unfortunately. Maz with two saves. Loving the, the event tonight. Big celebration after both. Connor Williamson up next for Surbiton. It's 1-0 still for... Serviton. Do you reckon he's going to do his little drive into the D and then flick? 
Here we go. Cool and calm. It's a great oh, save. Big save by Ori, but oh, that's falling could behind. Could not recover. Him. Connor taps it in. Two 0 Surbiton. Ori really disappointed there. He made a good, good first save. The rebound falling kindly for Connor Williamson there. Stu Rushmere with the high five. Next up, Jay Wall. Needs to score this, really, to keep Wimbledon alive. Yeah, he does. Mazzarello looking supremely calm and confident about this. Just removing the debris from the goal. Oh, wow. and he's hit the post. Time. And put wide. Waller missing. So, man's three from three. Man, it's impressive work. Just so a mountain of a man, to be fair. So, yeah, this is this is to win. Stu Rushman to win. This is to, to win. win. No way back from Wimbledon if Ori doesn't make this save. Just adjusting his pads. So, for the chance for Surbiton to top Paul B. This is to avoid OGs. It's quite big. As it pains me to say that. Ori really taking his time here. Yeah. Oh, that is good. Good play from Stu Rushmere. 3-0 Surbiton. Game over. They top the group. Great game from both teams there. Really cagey, but fantastic win for Surbiton. Ed, thanks for joining me. Mark, um, thanks for letting me join you in the second half. Enjoy the playoffs next week. Thanks for joining us. Uh, well done, Surbiton. Well done, Wimbledon. Thanks, all. See you next week. Cheers.